All right, everybody, tip review time. I have this awesome Forbidden Planet C-57D Space Cruiser. I actually have two of these in stock. It's a 172 scale. When this bad boy is built, it'll be 28 inches in diameter. Um, I've had these kits for a long time. The artwork on the front is just awesome. On the back side here, flip this around. Okay, sorry about that. On the back side, it gives you a description of the ship. Um, astonishing isn't the word for it. The detail that this um, model will have once it's all built and finished. Uh, gives you a hit, little bit of history of it. Shows that it's a 172 scale kit. It is 28 inches in diameter. Uh, below here, it gives you a nice picture of um, certain areas of the ship. Um, the diameter, crew quarters, reactor, uh, retract, retracting landing struts. Um, I've got crew, i got Robbie. And the interior, um, both levels are uh, pretty detailed. Um, from polar lights. Um, I don't know, I probably won't be building this kit anytime soon. But uh, I figured I'd share this with everybody. Um, but I do have... The smaller version of the Forbidden Planet C-57D. Um, this is the deluxe edition, and um, it comes with a light, lights and rotating motor. Um, this one I'll probably build. Um, shows you here on the back what you get with the uh, light kit, and here is a nice picture of the C-57D finished. Um, right down here it shows rotating engine lights up with a uh, red glow effect. So um, this kit is what I'll probably be building next. Um, I do have <laughs> the standard version. Get rid of this. I, this is the one I got first. But I don't have a light kit. It's basically the same kit. And on the back side it shows you a uh, different uh, background, different picture. Top of the C-57D and a couple pictures over here. Um, Like I said, I'm going to uh, do a review on this one here briefly. I'll add it to this video here. And uh, everybody have a good day. Alright everybody, back on the Forbidden Planet C-57D Space Cruiser, the Deluxe Edition. Let's take the top off here and take a look on the inside. First part of the package here has got the saucer, the bottom here. You see the landing gear here. And I think this kit, you can retract the gear. This side here is the top of the saucer. And the detail that it has on there is pretty cool little ring right here okay here's your uh, here's a bag of clear parts uh, the bottom where the engine is
nicely detailed. Here is the motor. Um, uh, let's see here. Put it up here. Um, there's the motor and the uh, LEDs. Looks pretty cool. And uh, oh, this is all in one bag. So here's the top dome. Uh, the engine down here. Landing gear. Uh, I have no clue what this part is. So let's take out the instructions. Okay, here's the instructions. It looks like it only has four steps. First step is, um, let's see, the steps. So that's what that part was probably for, is for the steps. Uh, step two, it shows you uh, inside of the saucer and where everything is mounted. And above here is the gear. And let's see. Um, it looks like uh, they do uh, retract according to this here. Um, on step three here, it shows um, uh, where the motor is mounted on the inside and the battery. So that must have been for a 9 volt battery compartment, that piece that I saw inside the kit. And then here it shows how to wire it up. And then final assembly. On the back here, it does have another step. So it's got five steps to this kit. Uh, trying to see if it's got a paint chart. Um, I'll have to look that up, but uh, the basic color is probably silver or steel or something like that on that line for a paint scheme um, so that's my kit review on the c57d space cruiser i figured i'd share this with everybody and this is my next project and um, everybody have a good day